Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, first, I want to start by saying just thank you to everybody that subscribed, that commented, and just sent me some positive feedback and some positive words. Um, I really appreciate it. It's really going to keep me going and keep me motivated to not only be on this health and fitness journey, but um, keep posting videos. And um, so, yeah, it's it was really appreciated. And uh, thank you so much. Um, for those of you who are not subscribed, please subscribe, um, comment, like, do all that good stuff. Um, but today's video is going to be my first weigh-in. Um, I've obviously have been weighing myself um, kind of consistently, but today will be my first one that I'm filming and sharing with you guys. Um, I also finally got my new Bluetooth scale. Um, I got the Weight Watchers Bluetooth Body Analysis Scale um, by Conair. And um, I haven't used it yet. This is kind of like an unboxing. Um, basically, um, the scale is connected to an app that you can download on your smartphone, whether that whether you have an Android or an iPhone. Um, and once linked to the scale, um, all you have to do is open the app, stand on the scale, and then it will sync to your phone as well as your health apps um, that you have in your phone. So it's pretty cool. Um, this one said, this is what it looks like. Um, pretty simple. I'll take it out the box in a second. Um, let me get the exact name of the app. So it's the Weight Watchers Smart Bathroom Scale app. <laughs> so a lot of words, but yes, um, that's what I will be using to do my weigh-ins and just track my progress and see um, what's going on. Let's see what it measures. So um, it's a weight and body analysis monitor um, for body fat, body water, bone mass, muscle mass, BMI. Um, like I said, it syncs with all those different apps, with your Apple Health, um, your Google Fit, all that good stuff. Um, also, the edges light up blue, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so anyways... So boom, here it is. Um, if I can insert some of the video or like learn how to edit and do some things, I will insert a picture of what the app looks like um, once downloaded on my phone and all that good stuff. But without further ado, let's get this first weigh in together. And I'm actually um, filming this right before I head to the gym for the night. So uh, <laughs> hopefully, uh, the weight isn't uh, too accurate. Um, I typically like to weigh myself first thing in the morning. It just makes you feel a little better, you know. You haven't eaten yet. You feel skinny in the morning, you know. So um, weighing yourself in the middle of the day is just asking to be disappointed. But here we are. <laughs> so let's let's get this started. I'll be right back, guys. Or I'll show you guys my weigh-in and all of that good stuff. Okay, so here's the scale. I'm about to step on. All right, guys, I'm back. So um, you guys saw it. My first weigh-in, I am at a whopping 209 pounds. That might be backwards for you guys, but let's just go over these numbers, okay? So... Um, my weight in pounds, 209.1. Um, my body fat percentage is 33.7. I had a 48.4 water percentage of water weight, um, 7.4 bone mass. Muscle mass was 32.7. And my BMI is 29.9. Now, with that same scale, they gave a kind of like a metrics of like normal to high BMI and water weight and all of that. So I'm just going to go through that really quickly. So for a female between the age of 20 to 29, a normal body fat percentage is 23.1% to 28%. Currently, mine is at 33.7%. So 
that's not okay. I'm a significantly higher than the normal by 10%. Um, for body water for females, normal is between 45 to 60%. So that's pretty regular. Um, for bone mass, um, between the ages of 20 to 29, normal is 6.2 to 7%. And mine is at 7.4. So that's also pretty standard. So, um, and let me look at the BMI really quick. The BMI for normal female is 20 to 25 percent mine is 29.9 percent .9%, which they say is higher than normal so um it looks like i need to work on my bmi as well as my body fat percentage everything else is in an okay range um but yeah it's, it's very humbling getting on the scale and uh you know seeing these numbers and seeing what you need to work on but um the more you know right <laughs> so yes first weigh in 209 pounds um now let's talk about this week okay so monday which is usually my gym days which is monday tuesday and then thursday are my gym days monday i could not go to the gym okay um there was a delay on the train of up to two hours so i got home very late and it i was tired it, there was just no way i was gonna go to the gym that night have gone tuesday wednesday and then tonight i'm going right after i finish this um thursday so i did make my three days during the week and i'm gonna try to do like a hike or maybe the, just the gym on sunday to um, top it off but let me tell you getting to the gym was really hard this week i yes i went but I went kicking and screaming at myself. Like, I can insert a clip, actually. I filmed a little video before I went into the gym Tuesday and I just, I did not want to go. Hey y'all, so it is Tuesday night. I just got off the train, just drove to the gym. I am sitting outside the gym right now. Um, I don't want to go, but I'm gonna go inside and do my first workout of the week. I know it's Tuesday. Typically I do Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, but a whole whole thing happened Monday. Um, so it's Tuesday. I made it to the gym. I'm about to go in. Um, I'm probably, I'm not filming anything inside the gym. I'm already self-conscious enough. So um, I just wanted to check in, say I actually made it first day of the week um yeah trust me i did not want to go today it took everything and um i'm honestly this video is a form of me giving me a pep talk to take my ass inside all right so yeah what do you guys do to stay motivated to get to the gym even when you don't want to like what are your driving forces um sometimes like literally god himself got me to the gym this week because I did not want to go. I've been tired. It's been hot. I just been wanting to go home and go to bed. But I made it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I think that's all that I have for this particular video. I do have a ton of cool things planned and I'm hoping I'm able to execute them. So please stay I did tuned. not mean to end the video that abruptly. Um, I did get interrupted, but like I was saying, like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for my next videos. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.